So guys, the Voodiers of the long-rumored AR glasses, augmented reality glasses from Apple, may actually arrive sooner than expected. That's thanks to some late rumors, reports, and also patents filed directly from Apple. And that's very, very interesting. So in this video, I want to go through all the details, more the details, the things we know so far about these new AR headset and why they're so likely to be true and also even if it hurts me a little from the inside to say it why we really need apple to step in the ar vr environment so without further ado let's get to it so first of all there's no real secret that apple is actually looking into ar from a little while right now also last year we had a news about one of the engineers having like some eye injured because of laser casted in the eyes for some weird AR technology that are cooking up. So they're for sure doing something right now. But now we had the big rumors on one of the biggest, probably the biggest Apple analyst in the world, Kung Kin Chuo, uh, let me check a second. Yeah, Ming Chi Kuo, for sure I'm pronouncing them wrong, that actually predicted that these AR glasses are not gonna be just standalone glasses like we saw on all the different markets, like with the HoloLens, HoloLens 2 or the Magic Leap, but they're gonna be an accessories for the iPhone. And that gives a little spin to the story where these AR glasses could actually become the first consumer ready VR AR glasses on the market. Now, we don't know yet how the connection is gonna work between these glasses and the phone itself. We don't know if it's gonna run a cable, similar to the solution with the Magic Leap, or if it's just gonna be wireless and we're gonna be able to run these holograms directly keeping our phone in the pocket. But one thing is very sure is that the iPhone already has all the capabilities to actually run these holograms in the real world and make an amazing AR experience. We saw a lot of demos in the last keynotes from Apple about the AR Kit 2.0, where they use positional tracking and everything, but we see demos, of course, with phones and tablet, and those are not so exciting if you think about what they're doing, but they're very exciting if you think about the tech that they're using right now, using a single or a double camera, they're able to have a perfect positional tracking in the room and be able to render all these holograms without any problem. There's no doubt about the fact that also Apple has the biggest devs in the world working with them because the Apple Store is the biggest app store out there on the market and also the fact that they have a very strong partnership like lego as we saw in the demo or ikea well that really means that they're gonna give a spin a real boost to this market because they're gonna be an app that are gonna be close not just to enterprises and industries like we see with the hololens and not just hipster like we see with the magic leap but actually something that regular people will actually use probably and that's also because Apple have a strong position in the market here in the US they have an amazing share so many people so many people has an iPhone so many people have an iPhone X XR XS X uh, whatever well they're all run on a very powerful chipset the A12 Bionic or the A11 Bionic that is more than capable on anything and is actually the most powerful mobile chipset yet still to date on the market also, we have to consider that Apple has the appeal to have something that you're not going to be afraid to wear in public. If you think about it with the iPod, they didn't look so well, but because of the marketing, because of the spin that they give to the story about wearing these wireless headphones, well, then they created a standard and everyone wearing them like they're nothing and they're amazing. It actually became something that is pleasing to the eyes for some reason. It's also about the perception. So I'm really interested to see what they're going to do in terms of like something nice to look at that something that i'm not scared to wear in public not something like it was like the google glasses that were really for geeks but something that regular people would use probably to have a notification to see stuff around the city and everything and be able to interact with these holograms around because this is one of the patent actually to see like direction to see point of interest and expand the information more directly from the screen and using your hands for 
interaction. So there's gonna be also included and tracking, and that's very, very interesting. Another important thing and why it could be a really a consumer ready thing is for the price. Because yes, Apple is not famous to have good prices on anything. They're actually very, very steep every time, but we know that is something that is never gonna change. But in this case, could be actually cheaper than the other AR competitors for a reason, because all the hardware is already integrated in your phone. And well, of course, if you have an iPhone, if not, you're gonna have to buy it, but most of the people here have it. So for sure, they're gonna prefer to pay a thousand dollar for glasses and connect to a phone than to have a standalone device like the HoloLens 2 that costs $3,500. And well, it's a big investment and you use it just for that. Instead, everyone has phone because you use it for work already or for other stuff for your personal life. And you can just plug in in any way your AR headset and be inside your world with holograms. But the most interesting thing is actually the fact that we are expecting these AR glasses not in three or four years, but actually at the end of this year, uh, probably be unveiled and to be released in 2020. So it's very, very early and it's very interesting to see someone like Apple getting so early in the game. So probably have something very good to show us because usually they don't get the market until you, they have a very good and groundbreaking product. And so that's why we get to the part of the story, well, why we really need Apple to step in in the VR and AR environment? Well, because they usually create standards and there's something that you cannot like Apple as I, I don't have anything Apple actually. Uh, I also like a kind of a, a trick my girlfriend to leave Apple to get a OnePlus 6. Now it's super happy, but uh, it, it was an hard thing to do. But anyway, they are very good to create standards. If you think about the iPod, every MP3 player was an iPod. If you think about the iPhone, every smartphone is similar to an iPhone right now. If you think about the Ultrabooks are similar to the success of the MacBooks. If you think about the iPods, the Apple Watch, uh, they really know what they're doing when they're doing stuff. Instead, in the VR and AR market right now, we have a lot of fragmentation. We have a lot of different direction with every company is taking a different direction now and not having a standard. It's very hard to say this is the best. You should buy this instead of something else. If you think about Oculus is pushing on and presence and the presence in VR anyway. If you think about Vive with Valve too, they're thinking about the best tracking possible to feel connected to the virtual world. If you think about Windows Mixed Reality, it has to be easy to get inside to get in the real world, in the virtual world, sorry. So they all take different direction and you can argue as much as you want, but they're all good in some way. And so it's very hard to say which one is the best right now. Instead of having a standard, well, we're going to be in the situation where we can keep all a direction, even if I don't really like the fact that it has to be Apple to make this standard. But, uh, you know, that's what they do. You Usually you take a direction, you keep the direction and everyone will move in one single direction and things are going to grow faster than expected. But after all this, let me know what you think about it. Are you excited for the AR glasses from Apple to arrive? Are you excited to use your iPhone if you have an iPhone to actually get in these hologram words and using all also around? Do you expect that to be a consumer thing or do you expect it to be uh, more industry and just enthusiast thing? Uh, I don't really see that from Apple, but let me know what you think about it. Also, do you have an iPhone or are you willing to buy an iPhone just for an AR or VR experience? Depends what you're gonna see. So I'm really looking forward to see what we're gonna discover at the end of this year with Apple, probably with the next iPhone that is gonna be even more powerful with the new chipsets, even more powerful to run even better AR experience. Another rumor actually was the 5K display for each eye that to me seems a little exaggerated. Uh, I don't think that is gonna happen. And the price they say around $1,500. So it's not so bad anyway, but I, you know, uh, we have to see what is gonna happen. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment below. And as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, just like, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech, because here, if you're first time, we are a tech VR channel where we talk about VR and AR tech and the most interesting news out there. If you really love the channel, you can now support it down there. It will be super, super appreciated with a little donation. You're gonna help a lot the channel. You can join our Discord server always in the description below. And I'm talking always so much after. So uh, thanks for watching. I see you guys in the next video. Ciao.